All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today we are going to be checking out the details and animations for the new uh, tech Dokkan Fest exclusive Bardock, as well as his new side unit, which is going to be a Tora slash uh, team Bardock. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. We'll start with the animations first, which I haven't seen at all, but I have heard from some people that they might be a bit underwhelming but once again i haven't seen them so i will let you guys know how i feel uh after we watch them together so let me just pause my music here and uh yeah enjoy guys Okay, okay, so I see what people mean. The ones that say like his animations aren't the most exciting. Um, as far as the super attack and the active skill go, they feel kind of bland, okay? They feel like um, they could have like used more effects or something like that, you know, just a little bit basic. But this entrance animation, this entrance animation is the best we've had so far, okay? I mean, it is heartbreaking, man. I mean, like... I don't think I've been this sad watching an animation in Dokkan up to this point, so I love the entrance animation. I think it's one of the best, or maybe the best entrance we've seen so far. But yeah, the um, the, the super attack is decent, but not great. And the active skill as well, I think, um, compared to like more recent active skills, usually active skills tend to be very very high quality, right? Like, this one is just okay. This one is just okay. So, I kind of get it, but dude, the, the entrance animation alone al almost makes up for, like, the rest of the animations being just kind of alright. Um, as far as the Torah goes, the Torah and the Team Bardock, you know, decent, right? They, they look very decent. Um, nothing exceptional, but, you know, for what they are, uh, uh, non dokkan fest side banner unit uh it does the job so <laughs> those are the animations by far not the best we've seen but i can't get over how sad that uh interest animation is man okay so moving on to the details of course a massive shout out to the homie goresh thank you to him for providing us with the translations otherwise we wouldn't be able to do this and uh starting of course with the bardock let me just hide myself for a second so you guys can see the full uh, details here and uh, starting with the leader skill we have Goku's family or storage figures category key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 170% plus an additional HP attack and defense plus 30% for characters who also belong to the pure Saiyans category uh, interest animation hmm ah I will change the future all right Super attack, uh, life risking onslaught greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage. Uh, passive activates the entrance animation upon entry once only. So this is one of those entrance animations that I might actually like 
keep playing for for a while because it's beautiful, man. Um, yeah, so uh, activate enters animation upon entry if there's an ally on the team whose name includes Goku, Ginyu Jr. Ex uh, excluded, or if there is an enemy whose name includes Frieza, Soldier excluded. Upon entrance animation activation, changes a random type of key sphere to rainbow key spheres and gains attack plus 70% and reveal the location of enemy super attacks for 5 turns. That's really good. I like that a lot. The, uh, you know, revealing of super attacks specifically. And then, uh, key plus 2 attack and defense plus 150% at the start of turn, gains an additional attack and defense plus 40% for each super attack performed, max of 120%. Uh, attacks effective against all types when collecting at least one Rainbow Key Sphere. Gains an additional attack and defense plus 50% when collecting at least two Rainbow Key Spheres. And then performs a critical hit when collecting at least three Rainbow Key Spheres. Okay, so he looks really good. Um, I do have a couple of concerns about his kit, honestly. So, of course, everything he does is great, right? But. Uh, the fact that he only changes rainbow key spheres or changes a random type of key sphere to rainbow key spheres once, you know, that like first time he appears on the rotation is not the best. I wish he was like a persistent rainbow key sphere changer because that would, you know, help him get as many rainbow key spheres every turn as possible, right? But instead, it seems like he only does it once upon entrance animation activation, which is you know, not ideal, right? Especially if you're running like a, you know, full, like, Team Bardock team, for example, or some other team where there's no Goku on rotation, he actually doesn't get the entrance animation. So, that's also kind of unfortunate, unless you're facing a Frieza, but that's not, like, gonna be all the time either, right? So, um, yeah, not, not loving that part, and also the fact that you can see the location of enemy super attacks, but for five turns, which is, you know, for like Super Battle Road, it's gonna be for the entire fight, but for something like Legendary Goku event or some of the other longer events, uh, in the later stages when you actually really, really need to see super attacks, when the enemies get really hard, um, you won't have that anymore, right? Because it's only for the first five turns. So that's also not ideal. Um, and what else? What else? Um, everything else is good, actually. No, he, he looks great. Don't get me wrong, guys. I'm trying to just, like, find some, you know, aspects to maybe uh, criticize a little bit. Just to, like, I don't know, give you guys a full idea of how this unit might work. Um, I think that he's going to do very good damage because he's getting a lot of attack. He's going to get some good defense as well, but maybe not be the best defender we've seen recently, and uh, yeah, he's going to hit hard because he's going to get that, you know, attacks effective with one Rainbow Key Sphere, he's going to get the crit, guaranteed crit with three Rainbow Key Spheres, he's going to be getting 50% uh, more attack and defense, he's getting, um, yeah, he's getting a lot of attack and defense actually, he just like seems a little bit basic as far as this kit goes you know like nothing really too unique um he just he just looks good you know so i do have some concerns as i just pointed out i do have some uh criticisms of his passive but overall he looks like he's gonna be good and uh, active skill is final spirit cannon which uh causes ultimate damage and within the turn activated all attacks become critical hits and the conditions are you can be you uh, you can activate it once three or more turns have elapsed from the start of battle and there are three or more allies belonging to the team bardock category on the team or once five or more turns have elapsed from the start of battle and hp is 50 percent or less once only so i do like the fact that you can still activate it uh, even if you're not running a team bardock team you just have to you know wait a little bit longer and be below a uh, certain HP threshold, so it's harder to get without the Team Bardock members, but still possible, which is good. And links are same warrior race, same lineage, family ties, Team Bardock, same pride, prepare for battle, and fierce battle. And categories are Goku's family, storied figures, pure saints, low class warrior, Team Bardock, all out struggle, space traveling warriors, connected hope, and trusted will, and bond of parent. 
and child. So that is the tech Bardock. Um, I did think that he was going to go Super Saiyan when we initially heard about him, so that's my bad. If uh, I misled anybody, like, you know, with the, the previous video or the, the thumbnail from before, because I just thought he was going to be a Super Saiyan Bardock. So it's just base Bardock, which is actually good because I think it makes him more unique, right? So at least at least compared to, like, the last Dokkan Fest Bardock we got. So uh, there is the tech Bardock overall looking good. Not getting me too excited though with uh, with with the the passive I, I gotta say, but um, he'll put up some big numbers at least offensively. Defensively should be solid, but you know uh, no damage reduction, no guard, so it's not gonna be the best we've seen once again um, in recent memory. So let's quickly move on to the uh, Torah. The Int Torah, Leader Skill is Throwing Figures, Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 130%. Super Attack, Combined Saiyan Might, raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage and raises Super Class Allies attack by 30% for one turn. And Passive is Key plus 2, Attack and Defense plus 150%, gains an additional Attack and Defense plus 50% when performing a Super Attack, gains an additional Attack and Defense plus 20% for each Storied Figures Category Ally on the team, max of 100%, gains 10% chance to perform a critical hit, a uh, chance to evade enemy attacks, and damage reduction per team Bardock category ally attacking in the same turn. So that's up to, I guess, 30% since, it's, since it doesn't say, you know, self-excluded, right? So if you have three team Bardock category allies on rotation, that's 30% chance to crit, 30% chance to dodge, and 30% damage reduction. That's very good. Uh, Storied Figures, Category Allies, keep plus 3, Attack and Defense plus 30%, and then All Allies, Attack and Defense plus 30% if there is a character whose name includes Bardock attacking in the same turn. So if you have a Bardock on rotation, then they're going to provide keep plus 3, Attack and Defense plus 60% as support or Storied Figures, kind of like the, um, uh, it, the, the AGL Ginyu -like side units, right? The, um, you know... Birder and Raccoon, is it? Or is it Birder and Jace? I forgot the combo, honestly, but it doesn't matter. You guys know what I'm talking about, so uh, that's the passive. For the Torah, links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Cold Judgment, Team Bardock, Saiyan Pride, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Story Figures, Low Class Warrior, Your Saiyans, Team Bardock, and Space Traveling Warriors. So that is the Banner Unit Torah. Um, as you would expect, really, really good support for the new Bardock, and also <clears throat> getting a good amount of attack and defense, uh, you know, in his own right, and, uh, you know, the damage reduction is nice too, the dodge chance and the, the crit chances, so, uh, I like this side unit, and don't get me wrong, I do like this tech Bardock as well, I just, um, I'm not blown away by him, I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm not blown away by him I do have some uh hesitancies I guess when it comes to when it comes to his kit and uh of course you know the entrance animation is beautiful but eventually you're gonna turn that off eventually you're just not gonna see it because you know I think most people have entrance animations turned off when they're farming right so um it's not something you're gonna be seeing a lot in the long term and you're gonna be seeing these Super attack and the uh, you know active skill animations from time to time, but mostly the super attack here, and it's fine. It's fine. It's just not great. So like, as a whole, my hype for this release has definitely fallen a bit. I would say it used to be like at a eight out of ten. And now it's like a six point five. You know, it's not like it's gone. It's not like I'm not excited for him. I just could be more excited for, for this release. It just feels kind of like maybe a little bit rushed. Maybe a little bit rushed. It feels like maybe they didn't spend enough time on the animations or designing the characters, the kids, you know? But, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It's just how I feel at the moment. Um, let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about the Bardock and the Tora, about their details, their animations. All that stuff are you hyped still do you plan to summon if you're on jp right now and of course for global players we got the gammas coming 
in less than 24 hours. So I'm excited for that for sure. But uh, that's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.